Hey, what I care. I mean, to me, it was very clear that you got to protect the environment, you got to stay with the tradition of California, and that's why California is 40% more energy efficient than the rest of the country, because we always marched forward in the right direction and protected the environment and were for conservation and all of those things. So, of course, I fought for that. That's what the people wanted. You didn't look at it as a Republican philosophy or as a Democratic philosophy. It was the right thing for the people. True story. Everyone on NBC told me not to work with Joe. Literally, stay away from him. He's a conservative. He's, smart. He's yeah. What's the deal with him? And don't do it. And I didn't care because I saw a winner. And uh, there's actually a point to what you both said about what to do about this beyond voting, um, which everybody should do. And it is incredible this right we have. I, I so agree with you. But what you're looking at here on stage are two visionaries. What you did in this state and the fearlessness that you had to bring to the table in order to cut through some of the problems that most politicians can't cut through. And, you know, Joe, what's wrong with the media? There are not enough shows like ours. He created this show. He went into Phil with a big poster board, that's our boss, and this is when Don Imus cleared the decks and there were three hours to fill on MSNBC, lean left, and he went in there and said, let's do long interviews with interesting people and get really smart people on the show. And I think Phil at that point said, I don't see any ratings there, but give it a try. And our show happened because we took a chance. Joe created a platform that you don't see on television. You see right, you see left, or you see this mushy middle uh, of, a, of veiled, veiled objectivity on the networks in the morning. That's if they're not doing bras for spring. And so it was a huge leap. We had everything to lose, no job, no job. <laughs> and we didn't care. Um, but that's what you have to be. Number one, a visionary. Number two, not afraid. And number three, ready to fail. Um, when uh, the governor says vote, please vote, absolutely. But I would say run. If you're in this room, you're interested in what we're talking about. And we need you not just voting, we need you thinking about serving because we have a very bad batch in Washington right now because part of it are, is the quality of the leaders in Washington. And while we're talking about visionaries, Herb is in the second row. How many students do we have here? If you haven't signed up for Obamacare yet, he's going to be waiting at the oh, door. Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? Here, Herb is in the purple glasses. Stand she up, Herb. She can't help herself. He's here to explain it to you. It's so easy, and you need to sign up. Hey, Herb. Why